Okay, students. So now we are going to start a mock interview for our student Hari Om Sankar, and this mock is for the post of assistant professor through BPSC, and Hari Om is from civil engineering background. So Hari Om, first of all, uh, you tell us about yourself. My name is Hari Om Sankar, and I graduated in civil engineering from BIT University in 2015. then i completed my master degree in geotechnical engineering from nit patna in year 2018 then after i joined as a guest professor in bc bakhtiarpur which is a state government college and uh, then after i enrolled for full time phd degree in nit patna in this year so currently okay. i am pursuing my phd degree in nit patna Okay, so if you if you join uh, this uh, job, how will you manage your PhD? Uh, I will continue my PhD in part time, as there is provision that after the completion of course work, uh, one can opt for part time. Okay, so how much percent work course work you have completed up to now? Mm, my course work full course work will complete by month of April. Okay. So, what attracts you uh, towards teaching profession? Uh, as I earlier mentioned, that after doing my master, I joined as a guest professor, especially to explore my interest in teaching. I had option to continue my PhD in the same year, but to explore the passion. That is, this field is even suitable for me or not, or how I will cope. so i found this interesting to share the knowledge to the young mind is always inspired me that's why i opted for this field okay tell us something about the role of technology in teaching in near by future near by in near future technology has a huge role especially in terms of the content delivering and uh, in making the visual aspect many things in real life that a student cannot access in field due to the inaccessibility or lack of fund but as the technology is improve improving so the simulation of physical field is becoming easy and easy and at the same time due to the technology the accessibility of the information is also becoming very easy so in coming year maybe the physical mode mode of teaching will completely hybrid with the online mode of teaching and it will be going to inseparable okay so uh, in which mode you are more comfortable online teaching or offline teaching uh, i am uh, comfortable in both mode but uh, offline teaching has a importance to it is more interactive compared to online so students feel more connected in offline teaching compared to online okay hello okay, sir hello he is uh, b civil yes sir and uh, intending to appear before which uh, interview bpsc uh, assistant professor so bihar public service commission yes sir <laughs> okay what is a maximum shear stress uh, sorry sir what is maximum shear stress between sigma 1 sigma 2 and theta principal stress is are sigma 1 oh, and sigma 2 so basic, basically you are you are asking the formula for maximum stress maximum stress yes that is sigma 1 plus sigma 2 by 2 and it is also equal to the radius of mohr circle you, you are aware of mohr circle yes sir very good what what other components can be predicted in mohr circle uh, in in mohr mohr circle at any failure plane we can always uh, find the shear stress and normal stress at any point of failure you can you can find out any any particular point and where yeah, and shear okay. stress and normal stress okay 
can you draw and um, uh, show it to me say uh, sigma sigma 1 sigma 2 theta and then uh, is here hmm yes uh, okay sir Is this visual, sir? Mm-hmm. Uh, theta uh, sigma one. Theta, sigma. theta is ninety plus pi in more circle, and in in reality, it will present forty five plus pi by two from uh, major principal axis. You have not shown the position of sigma one and sigma two from the axis and the angle from the axis properly. Okay, okay. At least, at least you uh, you are aware. Now, suppose sigma one, sigma two, that is a normal stress, and at an angle is theta. Then uh, sigma theta at a point theta, what will be the stress formula? For uh, sigma right. theta square is equal to sigma one square, like that. It will be there is some formula. there is some formula. Suppose yes. there is a block. Uh, stress normal sigma one sigma two angle theta yes, and then sir. at particular uh, there is a uh, tau appearing on that uh, angle. So you you are asking formula of principal stress. Yes in, yes. In presence of sigma one sigma two and tau. Stress stress and theta yes yes. Yes so it is equal to sigma one plus sigma two by two plus uh, sigma. Sorry, sir. It is sigma sigma theta square is equal to sigma one square plus sigma t square plus two sigma one sigma two with this that. Yes, sir. One formula is in terms of uh, a square, and the second formula oh. is all. Yes. Sir. Okay, okay. Let me know. There is a cantilever. Cantilever. What is a deflection at the point of oh, fix fixing point? At fixed point. At fixed point. At fixed point, the deflection will be zero, sir. Okay, okay. okay. Suppose there is one side there, uh, both the side is having roller support, roller supports. Okay, and eccentric loading is done. What precaution will be taken for stability? Eccentric loading is vertical loading, or uh, you are asking? But some there there is some angle from vertical, uh, vertical. Uh, so there will be the horizontal stability problem. So hmm. in out in, in order to there will be some thrust uh, stopper will be there. Yes, uh, either we can provide one more uh, eccentric loading, or we can we need to provide the thrust at the support. Which means in practice the... in practical people are asking that mix fifteen. Mix fifteen. Mix fifteen has a compressive strength of how many newton per millimeter square? Fifteen newton per millimeter square. Sir. Sure. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. You, uh, you know the formula between uh, say uh, Young's modulus and uh, inertia, stress, and uh, distance from the neutral axis y. Mm, yes, sir. M M upon I is equal to suppose e by y equal to y by r. Y by r? No. So no, M by I equal to. Okay. Hmm. M by I equal to by y by sigma upon y. Sigma upon y equal to in tau by r. Is equal to e by r. These are very basic fundamentals. Basic fundamentals, which will go for next calculations of the 
uh, stress is stress and everything. Yes, sir. E by R is there. P question. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay, Rochin, sir, you can continue. Uh, Hari Om, you have done your master's now or your master's has been done? It's completed, sir. It's completed uh, in geotechnical engineering? Yes, sir. Okay, can you tell me what was your uh, thesis title? Uh, it was a soil structure interaction project, the dynamic, dynamic analysis of <laughs> railway track resting on elastic foundation. What did you do in So, in this work, there was an attempt to study the dynamic response uh, of a moving load hmm. resting on elastic foundation that we have calculated the dynamic parameter, uh, deflection and uh, maximum bending moment. Okay. For given critical ratio. What is this critical ratio? Uh, crit sorry, it is critical. <laughs> Critical velocity ratio. So okay, critical velocity, critical velocity is velocity for uh, any given at given material that this value at this velocity, the dynamic parameter like I earlier mentioned the deflection and bending moment will hmm. shoot extremely high. So there will be high deflection or bending moment when uh, the moving load will reach to towards this uh, velocity. So okay. it is the property of basically the track that uh, we have uh, analyzed. Okay. So what is this velocity ratio numerically? Kitna value Numer hota hai? Numerically, it has an empirical formula like the 4 E i by rho square power hmm. 1 by 4, where E i is the flexical rigidity and uh, rho yes, is yes, okay. the mass per unit length. Hey, I am asking, uh, for any normal guy, just tell me, normal track, uh, what is the value of this velocity ratio? Ki agar ye attain hota hai, there might be chances of high deflection and bending. What is that numerical value? I want to know that. Uh, for, for a general given uh, low track, it is around 120. Velocity ratio reaches to 120. N not velocity ratio, it's velocity. No, I'm talking uh, about velocity it's, ratio. It's, it's critical velocity. Look, velocity ratio is the given velocity of any time by the critical velocity. Mm -hmm. So if the velocity ratio will reach towards 1, mm -hmm. which means velocity ratio is reaching towards, mm -hmm. sorry, the velocity is reaching towards the critical velocity. Mm -hmm. And if the velocity of a particular load reaches towards the critical velocity, then there will be a huge deflection mm -hmm. and uh, bending moment. So, so you're saying out, if the velocity, order. if the velocity reaches close to 120, then there will be chances of deflection and bending. Extreme bend, yes, sir. But normal, the way I see you, Shatabdi or Rajani, if they travel at a speed of 120 and 130. Yes, because the the before this is why the, the highest speed train requires the different kind of track than the normal track. So, this track is not going to be able to do this. It's not going to be able to do this. It's not going to be able to do this. But obvious that the critical velocity of those tracks is much more than the 130 or 120. 40, that we can, we can say for sure. Oh. That the critical velocity for given track is greater than the running velocity of train. So, how it is related to geotechnical engineering? Uh, basically, the soil interaction. Uh, project that uh, how the soil will respond when a load will uh, come to in, it, it, its contact. So different uh, model were used, like uh, I used one parameter model and two parameter to simulate the elastic foundation. Basically, track is resting on soil. Mm. So soil becomes the medium to transfer the load. Mm. So how this soil will respond? Where where uh, your technical background comes to, into picture? Okay, so, so tell me what are the assumptions that you have taken? So uh, we used two model, one parameter parameter model and two parameter model. So in one parameter, it is a Winkler foundation that uh, in this we simply assume that. Uh, uh, yes, yes, go ahead. You are telling me assumptions, right? Yes, sir. The, the assumption will based on the the 
model uh, i use okay so in this uh, the soil elastic media is replaced with a spring which is independent and closely a space and the uh, entire uh, loading is taking transfer through the a uh, spring and the track is for track analysis we use a euler bernoulli equation and the uh, assumptions of all the euler euler bernoulli okay. equation came into the picture like okay, okay, like yes sir. fine acha uh, okay apne aapke mtech ke bare mein bataya all right ab hame kaun sa topic ek bar teach karke bata sakte hain just want to see your teaching capability mm, so Any okay, one topic well, from civil engineering. So why only word uh, verbal presentation, right? Ah, well, but you, आपको आप ऐसा समझे कि there are three students sitting in front of you. You have to teach a topic. Okay, so we will discuss about the shear strength of soil. So yeah, it is well. the most basic fundamental uh, requirement for any geotechnical engineering to investigate or know about the. shear strength of soil so what exactly is the shear strength of soil so when soil is subjected to a load then it is resisted by the soil mass so that the maximum resistance that offered by soil that we termed as the shear strength of soil so this strength of soil where it comes from it comes from the basically it has two component that is the cohesive force and the frictional uh, characteristic so the friction frictional characteristic comes due to the friction and the interlocking of the particle and the cohesion has again the two component apparent cohesion and true cohesion so true cohesion comes uh, due to the electrostatic uh, attraction as well as the spontaneous property although these are negligible and highly to unpredict and the second part of cohesion is the apparent cohesion which largely comes from comes due to the negative pore water pressure or the capillary phenomenon so in earlier more hypo gave the hypothesis that the shear strength is a function of the normal stress working on plane but later coulomb's gave the new hypothesis that shear strength becomes on has two component c plus sigma tan phi where c and phi are the shear strength parameter and which is not the instinct instinctive property of soil rather it depends upon the type of soil and the loading condition so after the knowledge of pore water pressure the it came into knowledge that the true representation of grain to grain soil contact is represented by effective stress rather than total stress so our shear strength formula become c dash plus sigma dash tan phi dash where c dash and phi dash again is effective strength soil parameter and sigma is the normal stress okay so this is much all about the shear strength of soil okay okay, okay. uh sir any questions from your end or we can start the feedback uh, suppose there is a stack of sand what is the natural angle of repose uh, that is called uh, angle of repose the natural angle but the numerical value of uh, angle of repose uh, sorry you are talking about stress na that means suppose the soil is stacked okay is starting dumping 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 okay naturally it is getting stabilized ni stability uh, will create because of natural resistance or cohesive force is created by within the soil so that angle of repose is very important how do how do you define that angle of repose uh, angle of repose is the steepest angle of surface made by the horizontal of any granular material when it uh, are stacked freely without any support no no horizontal so basically it, at this angle the in natu naturally it be, it uh, had the 
a stable or slope when uh, we put the granular granular material then it takes the natural shape and the, the angle between the plane and the horizontal we termed as the angle of repose are you able to understand my question suppose you are dealing with stress of the soils okay that means slide slide of the soil can be resisted by knowing the uh, knowledge about the of that uh, soil okay no yes yes sir so natural thing natural thing is that we uh, suppose we do not have any compacting we only stack the soil so some some angle naturally it will get stiff stabilized it will not move further suppose you dig out then again it will start falling yes sir so how do you relate this the weight of the soil and the resistance cohesive forces is there any um, stability ka jo free body diagram hai you can make yes sir suppose yes. the element suppose the element is small element of 2 mg is there uh, is st stable and yes. we have we have fixed the accelerogram velocity acceleration to see the movement of this this point okay yes, so sir. how how the how forces will act on it you uh, just let me know sir, sir in this case for even any given natural slope we calculate the parameter of c and pi and if it is a cohesionless soil then the if the angle of slope is greater than the phi value then our slope is unstable our slope will fail but if the slope value is less than the value of internal friction that is phi then we termed it as a as a slow a stable slope so we do the comparative comparison between phi and uh, any given slope beta for cohesionless soil Have a have a have a look on it. Thirty yes. degree, thirty degree is natural sands. Jo hai, whatever natural sands say, Yamuna, Allahabad, this that sand are being stacked. Their angle is twenty nine degree, and then so yes sir, twenty nine degree is the stable root. Ne, so this is a big problem. The S S created by uh, thermal power stations. Uh, they yes. they are they are making and, a hip hip, and yes. that angle of repose is important. just look at by a technical book from a standard book so that you get clarify okay thank you okay thank you sir okay uh, hariyam now yes. uh, uh aapka jo mtech thesis hai like uh, the, this interview basically comprised of everything ab isme aapke mtech thesis mein the things are not very clear ki how they are actually related to geotechnical engineering track engineering se Yeah, railway engineering. Yes, so it is there are limitations due to the title of Haan. this project. So, वो आपसे ये पूछेंगे कि आपने इसमें geotechnical से relevant क्या किया? Okay, we need to give a proper answer to that. Okay, अब उसके बाद में आपसे assumptions, limitations, जैसे आप क्या आप question को एक बार में pick नहीं कर पा रहे हैं. जैसे जो आपसे पूछा जा रहा है ना, अब actually उसपे नहीं, उसके आसपास घूम रहे हैं, then वापस से explain करना पड़ता है, then you come to that question. जैसे मैं आपसे ये जानना चाह रहा था कि ये जो वेलोसिटी रेशियो है क्रिटिकल वेलोसिटी रेशियो है न्यूमेरिकली इसकी कितनी वैल्यू है कि हम डिफ्लेक्शन और बेंडिंग को देखें ओके okay, अब आप मुझे दूसरी चीजें एक्सप्लेन कर रहे हो वो न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू नहीं बता रहे वो बाद में आपने एक्सप्लेन किया सेम चीज अभी सर भी आपको बोलेंगे सेम चीज आपने उनके साथ भी करी सो दट्स नॉट एट कि आप क्वेश्चन को एक बार में प्रॉपरली सुन नहीं पा रहे या फिर आप उसको प्रॉपरली इंटरप्रेट नहीं कर पा रहे यस सर because there are two aspect one either kind i give the direct uh, either empirical formula or value or second i can explain with the definition nahi so, jaise aapse jo pucha raha hai na jaise ki you explain what numerically what is critical velocity ratio kitna hona chahiye ki hum deflection ya bending ko dekhe ab usme aapne baki sari cheeze bata di hai aur wo numerical value aapne last mein batayi that was asked in the first okay. wo last mein bata so that is creating a bit of problem baki aapka teaching style is uh, i'll say it is uh, close to average uh, i'll be honest bahut acha nahi hai teaching style but theek hai because uh, like you are not using your any sort of body language aap koi body language use nahi kar rahe although jab aapko padhana hoga wahan pe because you will be given a chance to speak in front of these uh, faculties aur wahan pe aapko padha ke dikhana padega to agar aap shear strength padha ke bata rahe hain तो मेक श्योर दैट यू यूज योर बॉडी लैंग्वेज 
एंड वेर रिक्वायर्ड आप वहां पे लिखें बोर्ड पे ऑल दो वहां पे बोर्ड प्रोवाइडेड होगा आपको तो थोड़ा सा टीचिंग स्टाइल ऑल दो टीचिंग स्टाइल जो है वो विथ एक्सपीरियंस इट कम्स विद एक्सपीरियंस इट इज नॉट डेट कि आपने पहले नहीं पढ़ाया है तो आप बहुत अच्छा पढ़ा लेंगे इट इज एक्सेप्टेबल कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है थोड़ा फ्रॉम माई साइड आपको थोड़ा सा आपका थीसिस पे एक बार और मतलब एक बार वापस गो थ्रू कर लें वेन इज इंटरव्यू हरिओ दस मार्च है ना ओके सो वी है अभी तो दो तीन दिन है अब एक बार थीसिस को एक बार गो थ्रू कर सकते हैं हरिओम ओके ओके सर ओके हरिओम तो मतलब ठीक है परफॉर्मेंस तो तुम्हारा वहां पे प्रेजेंटेशन का तरीका भी ठीक है और टीचिंग का भी तुम कर लोगे बस अब तुम्हारी जो नॉलेज टेक्निकल चेक होगी उसके ऊपर ही सारा खेल रहेगा तो वो जैसा कि फीडबैक सर आपने सर ने दिया है उसको फॉलो करो ठीक है ओके मतलब बाकी चीजों में आप उनको सेटिस्फाइड कर लोगे और थोड़ा सा मतलब कुछ ऐसे प्रोजेक्ट के बारे में देख लेना जो बिहार से रिलेटेड हो ठीक है कोई रिवर ब्रिज बन रहा हो बड़ा या कोई रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन का बड़ा प्रोजेक्ट हो ठीक है कई बार ऐसे क्वेश्चन भी नॉन टेक्निकल वो मतलब पूछ लेते हैं यस सर देर आर देर आर गोइंग लॉन्गेस्ट रिवर ब्रिज ऑफ इंडिया हाँ तो इन सब चीजों की थोड़ी नॉलेज रखनी है यस जो जो प्रोजेक्ट चल रहे हैं जो बंद हो गए हैं क्यों बंद हुए ठीक है ना फेमस कोई फ्लड से रिलेटेड जैसे बिहार में बाढ़ बहुत आती है तो उससे रिलेटेड कोई क्वेश्चन रिवर्स की नॉलेज वहां पे कितने डिस्ट्रिक्ट हैं बिहार में ठीक है पॉलिटिकल जो पोस्ट है बड़ी बड़ी उनके बारे में थोड़ा और लिटरेसी रेट बिहार का पॉपुलेशन ठीक है ये सारी चीजें इनके ऊपर भी थोड़ा रखना है अपना पॉइंट अच्छा एक चीज और है ये आपका ब्रह्मपुत्र पे कितना कैपेसिटी इंस्टॉल हुआ है हाइड्रो पावर का ब्रह्मपुत्र नदी में दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर बिहार सॉरी सर सिक्सटी फाइव नेपाल की तरफ से जो भी मतलब इफेक्ट आ सकता है उनको थोड़ा एनालिस रखना है ठीक है चलो ओके ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू सर